September 14th, giant pumpkin plants update. So here is my small plant over here on the east, and we've got two pumpkins on it. The other ones kind of started growing, and then they just actually kind of shriveled up and died. And it's too late in the game to be growing new pumpkins now, midway through uh, September here in Ontario. So this is the biggest one on this plant. It looks really nice, really beautiful. It's a big boy, probably about 100 pounds right now. It's doing really well. This one had a defect on it, so it's a little bit poor. It had a cut mark in it there ever since it was young, and it tried healing itself, but it just, uh, I think it stunted its growth, so it's not doing quite as well, but that guy in there is beautiful, doing awesome. The plants at this point, uh, main vine is still about the same length. Secondary vines are kind of shriveling up a bit. Uh, you can see some of the leaves are starting to lighten up, and start to dry down and die off and uh, uh, with uh, with frost in a few weeks time it'll eventually shrivel all the leaves up and we'll be left with these guys right here. So here's my main uh, plant over here. It's doing awesome. There's two pumpkins on it. This one's on the south and again this one had a defect on it but it's doing awesome. It's pretty big over a hundred pounder. It's got really defined edges on it. The other one over there is more kind of circular and round, but this guy here, he's got, yeah, quite the definition. I'm not an expert, expert grower, so maybe one of you guys could comment and say why some pumpkins grow more round and others have those kind of lines in them like that. And you can see in there the main vine going up. It got fed lots of nutrients too. I made sure that I was putting on lots of organic uh, fertilizers and manure for the all the vines to suck up lots of fertilizer for the pumpkins. Moo. And then this guy's on the north. This is my biggest pumpkin. This is the prize one right here. He's massive. Easily 250, 300 pounds. Easily right now. Could be over 300 pounds. I think he'll finish up probably around uh, 500, 550 pound range. It won't win any awards for Biggest Pumpkin in Ontario, but for the first year doing this, pretty freaking cool. Stupid weed. Yeah, I made sure, like, if you guys uh, haven't grown giant pumpkins before, make sure you put something underneath the pumpkin so that it's not resting on just the dirt of your garden because um, it's not good for the pumpkin to be in contact with the wet ground. It, uh, it can cause, like, rotting and, and defect and make the kind of the skin of the pumpkin um, bad where it's sitting. So, yeah, put a bag or, or a tarp or something underneath it. It'll keep him nice and healthy as he grows. Yeah. Pretty cool experiment, the first year trying this. You can see the main vine up here. It's pretty well, yeah, there's no more growth coming. See, it's all dead on the top. So, definitely won't be growing anymore this year. Here's all the secondary vines coming out the the uh, side of the plant and these I don't know if I can show you guys yeah so like right in there if you look in there right there it'll attach in the ground it'll make a root I'll pull it up to show you because I really don't care at this point yeah so right there so you see that root system so the secondary vines where it joins and like puts leaves up there it'll put down roots right at that at that connection in here and the roots will actually grow right into the ground and then it'll feed in the secondary vine to the main vine and then up the main vine to where your pumpkins are growing to keep giving a, to keep feeding the pumpkins more nutrients. It's really cool how, how nature and these plants work like that. Yeah, so these are the Atlantic giant pumpkins commonly grown in uh, Canada. 
and I'll just do a outward shot of the whole plant. Pretty big. 25 feet, I would say, from one end to the other. So yeah, if any of you guys like pumpkin pie. <laughs> yep, next step is to work up the garden.